Hello there, buddy. I'm Mr. Game Pie, and this is Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Part 11. Last time we got the uh, cheat for the eggs, as well as uh, oh, oh, several jiggies in a Mad Monster Mansion, six to be precise, as well as a ton of notes. We're uh, about there's not a whole lot left to do in this area, actually. Okay. So, next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside that big church building. Now, as you can see, we got speed shoes over here. Quite important. Smash this button here. And the door opens. And you're given 14 seconds to work with. Let's roll! You can't really go much faster. I mean, you gotta get their lickety split. I was watching like a tool assisted speed run of this game, they only had four seconds left. Let's speed this up a little bit. Alright, so as you can see, you are ridiculously tiny in this church here. And there are teehees. There we go. Ha! Oh, oh, that, that was. How did. I did not even. Okay, I don't know. Alright. There's a note on each one of these pews. Only one note, sadly. Do I have... Yes, I have all my eggs. Go ahead and just kill the teehees. That's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah! It is a little bit tedious to get these notes. Especially if you don't even bother killing the teehees. Very nice music in this area, though. As with, well, the rest, all the rest of the game, but, uh... This is also a uh, very nice remix of this song. Very good. The organ. It's pretty darn awesome over here. Alright, so let's start climbing this thing. Because that's what you do in video games, you climb things. Alright. So up here we have a good friend, Moat's Hand. Indeed I can. Now it should be noted that in the uh, Nintendo 64 version, all of these notes here, um, well, all these keys here, play different notes whenever you hit them. In this version, not so much. Also, you can actually, if you know which keys to press, you can actually press them before he does. So that's certainly interesting. This is not hard at all. However, if you press the wrong key, or you press a key in the wrong order, you do get hurt. So that's, um, that's no fun, getting hurt. But no, seriously, this is easy. I don't know how anyone could possibly mess this up. Is it over yet? Yes, it is. And Moat's hand disappears. No prob, buddy. I'll take all your golden pieces. Now, this piece of music right here, uh, this is actually the Mad Monster Mansion theme. Go ahead and take a look at it. Very nice, eh? I mean, it's probably not the entire Mad Monster Mansion theme, but it's certainly a part of it. Which makes it very fitting, since it's on top of this organ that you see in this area, playing this theme. So there's actually a reason that the music is playing in this area. I mean, Banjo, like, in the previous areas, it's entirely likely that they, that Banjo because we weren't even hearing the music. But in this area, they probably are. <laughs> okay. Moving onward. 
Alright, so you see we have these rafters up here. They're kind of important. Because there's an empty honeycomb piece. Let's just grab this. You, you can fall over. Just be careful, there's a witch switch over there. I'd kind of like to grab it. There we go. And that appears in that eye, that's why I told you to break the glass early. And that's about it. We're done in this area. Okay. Just fall off here, and you won't get hurt. If you do it right. I mean, really, you could just fall off anywhere, but this is the safest area to do so. There we go. Alright, let's just grab this piece right here. I don't think I needed any health, but uh, just to be sure. Okay, nearly done. Time to do the transformation stuff. Alright, now I believe there's a gold feather behind this house. Yes, yes. Now then, it's time to grab notes. Gotta get the notes. There we go. Uh, this, yes, yes, this requires a 20. There should be a gold feather, yes. Alright, I maxed out on gold feathers again. Fortunately, in an area that, for enemies that require gold feathers to be, they give you a lot of gold feathers to work with. And now I'm Pup Pumpkin! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pumpkin can't do a whole lot. The only thing that's special about it is that um, it can fit in small places, which all of the transformations can do. Okay, let's get some stuff done. So really, this pumpkin transformation, there's nothing special about it in comparison with all the other transformations. Like, you know, the ticker, or the, the termite, it could go up extremely steep slopes. The, the crocodile, it could attack and stuff, and then, you know, there were special things about the other ones, but no, this one, nothing. But you do get an empty, you do get an empty honeycomb piece with it. Now, there is something special about the area that the pumpkin appears in. And we'll be getting to that, um, later. Maybe at the end of this episode. Alright, now, you hear the music in here. You see Lago the toilet here. The green egg appears right here, on top of him. I'll be having the code for that. And speaking of Lago the toilet, let's see what he has to say. Huh? What do you think you're- Oh! Dude. Okay. But yeah, there's a Jiggy in here. As well as these monsters. Nothing else to do, so let's just leave. Yeah, I'm kind of inclined to do so. Anyway, some red feathers there. All right, there we go. That was the special. That was the super special thing that the one of the super special things that the pumpkin gets to do. Now there's this pipe over here. You want to go down it because you get a jiggy. Oh, don't don't exit quite. Yet. Gotta get the rest of the notes. All right, only a couple notes left. Now, I mentioned the well, but I never actually showed it. Well, this is where it is over here. Now, you see, we got some water down here. This water uh, hurts you if you're Banjo-Kazooie, like the piranha-infested waters or the, the, the quicksand or any of that. But uh, it never gives a reason for some reason. I mean, it's like you jump in it, it doesn't even say anything. It's just you get hurt. Kind of weird, that. Anyway, there's two ways to enter this. You could jump into the well, or you could enter from down here. This also happens to be the only way to exit, if you're the pumpkin. Now, you could get all this stuff as Banjo and Kazooie. You could go in the well, you could swim down here, but... 
I find it easier to just do this as the pumpkin. And there's a note left. I sure hope it's in here. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Got all the notes. And pumpkin, jump in there. There we go. Now I got all the jiggies. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Banjo-Kazooie fell down the well. Why, yes, he did. And he's perfectly fine. Alrighty then, so it's time to show you what the super special thing you get to do as the pumpkin is. Now, the termite got to leave the world to get a Jiggy, the crocodile got to leave the world to get a Cheeto page. But the pumpkin gets to leave the world to do something much, much more important. Oh, and there are rippers. Run, 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 get hit, run, 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 get hit again, Re keep running, keep running, okay. This building down here. And what's that sound? It's snoring! Who could that possibly be except Mumbo? Hey buddy, what's up? All right, so he transforms you back. There we go. Grab some health. And there's this switch right here. You hit it. In this room from earlier, the water rises. This is extremely important because you can't get further in the game unless that water is risen. So you do have to do this. This is not something optional. So yeah, that's the special thing about the pumpkin. It doesn't have any secondary abilities, but it is, regardless, the most important transformation in the game. Alright, let's get out of here. Wait, just to make sure... I did get 100% on Mad Monster Match, right? Oh, that's wrong. Too far. Okay, yes, I did. Good. Alright, so now that Mad Monster Mansion's complete, let's start moving onward. Oh, also, there's another thing that you have to do as the pumpkin. <laughs> Quite a few things, actually. You can go a little bit further than just this, uh, one area. You can get a little bit further in the castle before having to go back to Banjo-Kazooie. There we go, there's this tiny pathway over here. It's kinda hard to go across. There we go. All right, we got Bruntilda over here. Not gonna talk to her. Now, oh yeah, a thing about the tips uh, that Bruntilda gives you. There's three possible things that it could be, and they're always, like, what they are is randomized. So, um, like the tips that Bruntilda gives me, the facts, um, they'll be different in every game. So I'm not gonna show what she says anymore. Oh dear. Red feathers. All right, I'm not going to be getting that quite yet. Because the cheat for the gold feathers, um it's it's actually uh, pretty easy to get right now. Well, it's possible to get at this point. Just gotta keep going on. Oh, and, uh... I don't... I think I mentioned this, but in case I didn't. Uh, lives were set if you turn the game off, and since this is my recorded second recording session, well, I turned the game off. So yeah, four lives. Start out with three. So I got an extra life somewhere along the way. Guess we're getting a hundred notes. Oh, yay! Oh. Yes, 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 I know. And now I'm back to being Banjo-Kazooie! 
instead of a weird pumpkin. I don't even know how that works. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the next world. Uh, where's the staircase? Wait a second, I think I need some help. Yes, I do. I'll go beat that other guy, too. Hey, hey, buddy. Get over here. There we go. Much better. Alright, this doorway. And now we are underwater. Quite wonderful. Alright, so I want to show y'all folks something. Okay. Uh, somewhere around here. Yes, that hole up there. Uh, you see, there's two ways to get to that hole. The first way is that under that box is a switch that raises the water level to the point that you can get up to that hole. Now, there is a second way to get up there, which most people don't typically notice. I'm just gonna jump in here. First of all, we go back to the room where we uh, unlocked Mad Monster Mansion. I think I need to turn up the brightness on my TV or something. Because it is ridiculously hard to see anything in this area. Alright, and there's this grate over here. Oh, also, you can sort of just jump up to the platform for Mad Monster Mansion now. <laughs> Wait, break through this. And uh, we'll be up in the area. As you can see, uh, one second. As you can see right here, we're in the area. All that stuff down there. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill in the thing. We got bees. Break through this. Better just grab some, grab the stuff they provide in here. Oh yeah. Neither that. Rusty Bucket Bay. Okay, so that area is open now. However, um, I'm not going to be going in there quite yet. Because I want to get the cheat for the gold feathers first. Also, uh, I want to wake up this pot up here. Yes, that'll be very useful. Except for the fact that uh, the other pot is only a room away, but, you know. I think I have everything now. Alright, let's raise the water level again. Because to get the last Cheeto, we're going to need to have the water level risen. And I would like to get the last Cheeto. Okay. So, we go back down here. And go up here. And somewhere around here there should be another switch. What's over? Here? Oh, yeah, I think it's down here. Alright, so I'm just gonna get the Cheeto and then end the video, I think. Alright, so we raise the water level once more. And this time, it's timed. So we gotta go there to lickety split. 
Alright, only a few more seconds to work with. Come on! To the surface. Alright, alright, where's the hole? Where's the hole? Where's the hole? There's the hole. Oh yeah, just barely made it. Wow, two Cheetos in one video. This is the only time that you get to go to them as Banjo-Kazooie themselves. All right! You already said you were gonna burn him. Okay, folks, next time in Banjo-Kazooie, we'll be entering the cheats that we have and moving on to Rusty Bucket Bay. See y'all later!